All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is me, your border man, NJ, number two, the city, with the number two in TL. I'm trying to angle this literally on a power eight ball right now. So I'm inspired to do this episode of NJ to the City's Mentorship Program, episode one or episode two, I really don't know. I think I already did episode one way back when, but I think this will probably be like still, you know, since nobody remembers from all the way back, then I'll just probably title it episode one. If you hear that crunching noise, that's my dog chewing on her little, um, it's not a toy she's chewing on, it's actually a snack she's chewing on. The ones that caramel snack, but I don't really know, don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, she's chewing on a snack, so that's what that is. But I feel inspired to do this because, ladies and gentlemen, I just literally read a report about a six-year-old who got arrested at a school in Orlando. Uh, yeah, a six-year-old who got arrested at a school at Orlando for kicking, for throwing a, throwing a tantrum and then kicking a staff member. Ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely absurd. Literally. Now, I, you know, and, 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 the, and the student is known for tantrums because she has something to do with sleep somnia or something like that. Don't know how to pronounce it, but she has something to do with that, you know, with her mental health towards that. That's why she's prone to throw tantrums and possibly act out violent in a few other ways. But I can rest assure you that still, I don't think that that's an excuse, an appropriate excuse for kid for, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not an appropriate excuse for arresting a six year old child. That is absolutely absurd for arresting a six year old child. I'm gonna have to turn this other light on right quick. Yeah, that gives me a tad bit more light to make this video, but yeah. That's absolutely absurd, arresting a six-year-old child who has sleep somnia or whatever she has. Um, I, I say that because it, they, they said it had some, some, something to do with sleep, something to do with sleep within her, her uh, mental health, which causes her to you know, have tantrums and act out violently. Guys, girls, whoever it is out there listening, watching this video, you know, to an extent, I want to say I don't, well, actually, I can't say that. I can't say that because I do care. But... That's, you don't arrest a six-year-old child over that. You don't do that. You don't do that. Now, giving the child attention, hey, that makes all the sense in the world. But, you know, but arresting a six-year-old child, you must be the child your own self if you're that resource officer. You must be a child your own self for arresting a six-year-old child for kicking a staff member. Detention, that makes more sense than kicking, or, I mean, that makes more sense than arresting a six-year-old child. I've heard this stigma out there, ladies and gentlemen, that some people, they went ahead and got positions of power. They got jobs with, with power and influence in them so they can, dare I say, reenact their childhood fantasies or something like that. What that means is like, for example, you know, they, they get these positions of power. So it's like, cause they, cause they dealt with whatever they dealt with growing up. So they get these positions of power so they can really make your life hell because their life was hell at, you know, at, you know, at that age with whatever circumstance it, it had to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's garbage. I think it's, it's garbage to abuse your power just because you have a childhood ax to grind with you know, with, with people. I think that's garbage. And I think what's more garbage than that is the fact being you arrested a six-year-old child for kicking a staff member. Now, I've heard worse stories. Trust me, I've heard literally worse stories. I've heard, I've even seen worse stories. I've actually seen video of staff members beating children up for stuff like that, you know. And I'm telling you, teachers, parents, staff, anybody out there, this is why the education system is vastly flawed and vastly failing, like our legal system. This is why people end up getting missentenced for pettiness. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I mean as a society and culture. We've lost all contact with Jesus, all contact with God, all contact with common sense, morals, rules, and boundaries. Because if anything, we make all that up as we go. Morals, rules, and boundaries. And that's why you would see something like that. A six-year-old child, an eight-year-old child. What? 
Why would you, you you're arresting someone that's not even in double digits yet? For God, for God's sakes. Are you kidding me? For kicking, for throwing a tantrum and kicking a staff member. That doesn't make any logical, rational sense. And that is disturbing to me to hear. Detention, that makes sense. That makes m the most logical sense. Detention. But arresting a six-year-old for that. If anything, officer, you should be the one in the handcuffs because you're obviously the child here. That's not right, ladies and gentlemen. That's where our society and culture has gone in 2019, where people lack so much, dare I say, empathy, moral value, and common sense with Jesus, where they would arrest a six-year-old. I mean, talk about not knowing what you're doing at that age. Talk about being young and ignorant. You're arresting a six-year-old child for throwing a tantrum and kicking a staff member. No. No. Now, if it was a, if it was somewhere in a, in somewhere in the high school realm and they're kicking or punching or doing whatever, now that makes sense, you know. But a six-year-old, someone is not even in double digits yet, ladies and gentlemen, that is garbage. That is absolutely garbage. Okay, that is garbage. Detention makes more sense than anything, and to know that that officer did that, the officer doesn't even—I don't think deserves a, deserves a job. But that's my opinion. And God be the judge and witness of what happens to him from this point on. And what he does with his life. Because I'm telling you, that is, that's just garbage. You arresting a six-year-old for that. The, 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 the most that, that kid deserved was probably a week of detention. If not just a couple of days. A whole week of detention. That's what that, that child de, de, de deserved. But really any child would deserve that. For, you know, at that age, throwing a tantrum, kicking a a staff member detention is the best thing the best thing that you you do you just don't arrest you well, actually not not only that but it is the best thing to do that's the most logical thing to do is give that, that student detention or suspend that student one of those two options if not both you know you don't just up and arrest that child now you've i think probably scarred that child for life now and especially since that child has uh something to do with I think sleep asami or whatever else, you know, well, it's, you know, think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're scarring that children, that child for life. And I looked that school up and then I couldn't find any reviews. So I looked up another school that's probably near it. And I saw another school review that once again keeps on reiterating the same crap that I've been saying for years. Bullying, 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 bullying. Why in God's name are people so much cowards? Parents out there everywhere, because I don't know what I'm going to title this, NJ to the City News, or I'm going to title this, NJ to the City's Mentorship Program. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. I want to title NJ to the City's Mentorship Program video, but I don't really know. Ladies and gentlemen, I am telling you this right now. We had, And this is why, because I've heard this phrase from my from my family in Mississippi multiple times, because most, most of them are old-fashioned and such, you know, from the 1960s, 1970s era. You know, while they were they were they were growing up and such, I'm gonna tell you this. I've heard this phrase: you can't tell other people how to raise their children. And I'm gonna tell you this: from growing up in the 21st century, I can and, and definitely seeing the news over the last two three years, you can't tell idiots how to raise their children. Cause a lot of these people are idiots. A lot of these people are idiots raising their 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 children now. So this probably shouldn't be titled "Injury to the City" it's a mentorship program because I'm over calling other parents idiots. But at the same time, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Think about it. Because I know a lot of other people would say a lot more worse words than idiots. Idiots is the clean version of what I could say. So, caution yourself that. But I'm telling you this. I'm so tired of reading review after review after review of bullying. Do you parents not know how to raise your child? Do y'all not know how to raise your child? And you know how many other reviews? I, I see so many reviews that I just that don't only they don't only just say bullying, but also say how they take it to the staff members, they take it to the teachers, and they do absolutely diddly squat. Nothing. Sweep it under the rug. They do nothing. That's why parents are failing, teachers are failing, and so many staff members are failing. You're failing these kids because you don't know how to I wanna say you don't know how to treat kids. You don't know how to talk to kids. You don't know how to uh, that I say, read a kid's mind or whatever else. I don't understand how you don't know how to run a school. I don't get it. 
How do you not know how to run a school? Why did I say that? Wasn't you a child your own self? I mean, different time, different era, era, but don't you know how to run a school by now? Don't you know how to treat kids, treat kids by now? Think like a kid would think and be able to reason with them or be able to... Because I've also heard the phrase about, you know, they don't reason with kids here, they don't reason with kids there. Guess what? As I've definitely said before, you got to get out of that mentality. It's 2019. Not every child... And, we, and, and this thing, we all acknowledge how every child wasn't, uh, every child isn't made the same, or or every child isn't, what's the word? I mean, all every child is made by the Almighty God, but we all acknowledge every child doesn't learn the same, right? Yeah, we all acknowledge every child doesn't learn the same. So we don't acknowledge that. Why can't we acknowledge that not every child thinks the same, believes the same, and not every child is going to act the same? Can we all agree on that for the most part? Think about it. And what that alludes to, ladies and gentlemen, if we can agree on that or agree to disagree on that, think about it. Parents, teachers, faculty, and staff, you don't know how many reviews I've read, countless, of bullying, neglect, mistreatment, and just much more. You don't know how many reviews I keep reading. I don't read reviews every day, but I read them quite often, like probably two or three times a week or just when I get bored. Someone tell me why. This is why I'm not going to college right now because I don't care to fit in with this disgusting system that people are running. Because if I'm in that system, I have a better chance of going off on every staff member I see doing this to a, a child. Because this is garbage. This is garbage. Are you kidding me? Can you people not treat kids with love, integrity, and respect? If you treat kids, well, at least for a majority of them, if you treat a majority of these kids, if not all of these kids, well, you're, well, let's say you treat all of them like that, but only majority of them respond back well enough. That's all it takes. If not all the kids, majority of the kids will give that respect right back to you if you just treat them with it. But again, a lot of people, yeah, yeah I say, they was raised in that time period, raised in that era where they don't believe in common sense. They don't believe in reasoning with children. They don't believe in talking to children with respect, talking to children with gratitude, with grace, with 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 with, with wisdom in order to effectively discipline them. They don't believe in that. They just believe whatever they say goes, and if you don't like it, get out of here. Or if you don't like it, I'm going to punish you. Guess what, bigot? That's why you're a failure as a parent, you're a failure as a... Uh, as a staff member, your failures as a teacher, and much more. Not every child, if, you, if you're going to tell me not every child learns the same, you better start admitting not every child thinks the same, believes the same, and acts the same. Not every child is gonna, uh, going to agree with what you say. Not every child is going to do what you say immediately when you say it. You have to work with children, constructively work with children, figure out the strengths, figure out the weaknesses, and godly work with that. And that's the thing. How, and that's another thing. How many people keep, keep claiming to be Christian but don't get this? How many people keep claiming to be Christian but don't get this? I'm a born-again Christian. Baptized June 22nd, 2018 in Salem Missionary Baptist Church, Greenwood, Mississippi. Ladies and gentlemen, I get this. Why is it so hard for people to understand this by now? You're not going to help anybody by being a two-faced, devil spinner, biased bigot. You're not going to get it. And I'm tired of reading review after review after review after review. You people stink at your jobs. Why do I got to go to college to fit in with you people? If anything, I've been better than you when I was in high school. I was probably better than you was in middle school, probably. Are you kidding me right now? You don't know how to talk to kids. You don't know how to treat kids. You don't know how to act towards kids. And dare I say, reason with kids. How come you don't know how to reason with kids? How come you don't know how to gain and build trust and relationships with kids? No wonder why you're a failure raising your own. No wonder why you're a failure. And I hate to say stuff like this, but this is stuff that a lot of y'all need to hear. That's why you're a failure. Oh, I haven't done everything you've done? Guess what? I haven't, and I'm a better person than you already. I'm tired. Review after review after review. Read these, ladies and gentlemen. Look up whatever you're, look up your favorite school, whatever city, district, county, do it. You read these reviews, and you'll see exactly what I mean. I may, not, I may not have been everywhere you've been in life, but I'm a better person today than you have than, 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 than you've ever been. Or whatever makes that line make more sense, more valid. I love y'all. Take care. God bless more coming soon.